hey guys welcome back to another class please if you're just attending this class for the first time make yourself comfortable and consider subscribing to this channel if you love what you are seeing okay so guys today we are learning pre-writing skills in writing uh, letters and numbers yes we need to teach our kids about strokes these strokes they are the lines and the calls that our children need to know in order to write very well if we can be able to teach them these strokes very well they will write perfectly good for us okay so guys, the first one that we're going to talk about is called the the standing line. And these are the standing lines. Okay? The next one is sleeping line these are the sleeping line examples of the standing line and the sleeping line are we have I we have L we have H we have F and so on so the next one we'll talk about is called the the slanting line in this slanting line we have the left slanting line and the right slanting line these are the left slanting line and these are the right slanting lines examples of the these slanting lines are we have a we have k we have M, we have N, we have X, we have Y, and we have Z, and so on. So guys, the next one that we're going to talk about is calls. Okay? We have different kinds of calls. We have the left call. And the right curve. We have the upward curve and the downward curves. So examples of these curves are we have the B, we have C, we have D, we have P, we have R, we have Q, and so on. And the shows that we need to know before we start teaching our kids how to write letters and numbers and i will try and make a worksheet on this particular topic okay so you will be able to see the guideline on how you are going to teach that to your children and another thing that i want to say is that please if you are teaching these strokes to your children you start from number one which is the standing line and the sleeping line just give the child examples of the standing line and the sleeping line okay don't even though it doesn't start from a b c d no don't mind just give the child examples of the standing line and the sleeping line now when you get to the slanting line you give the child examples of slanting lines the alphabet and the numbers okay when you get to the curve when you must have finished these ones when you get to the curve you give the child letters that have curves and numbers that have curves please Consider subscribing to this channel if you have learned one or two things. Okay, see you all in our next class.